All right, so welcome to your application day of Christ Light. Today we're going to be talking about John the Baptist, and this is a picture of him right here. But first, I'm going to do the talking, so we're going to come back to that picture in a little. So from our story from yesterday, I want you to think, how did John the Baptist prepare the way for Jesus? Remember, John showed the people that they were sinners and they needed Jesus the Savior. So now what do we have in common with those people as well? We are sinners. Every day we can try our best to keep all of God's commands perfectly, but we sin every day. We need to be told that we are sinners and we need Jesus our Savior. Remember when we sin, we are to be sorry for our sins. And that means that we confess that we are not holy, and so we deserve God's punishment. Because we are sinful, we deserve God's punishment. But if I just sat here talking every christ -like lesson, pointing out every little sin that we do every day, I would be forgetting to talk about Jesus, our Savior, who died for our sins and kept God's commands perfectly. And we need to hear about Jesus because he is the only way to heaven. The only way to heaven is through our faith in Jesus. And when John was talking to the people, he was preaching law and gospel. He was showing them their law, how they're sinful, how they sin, how they are not perfect. But he also preached to them gospel. He brought them the Savior's forgiveness. So although they were told they were sinners, they were also told, but follow Jesus, listen to Jesus. He died for your sins. He will die for your sins, and he forgives us. But we can show we are sorry now by the way we live. When we're sorry for our sins, we can show it in our daily lives. True repentance, being truly sorry for your sins, produces good fruits, which is also God-pleasing works, and it changes our lives. So let's say, let's go through an example. Let's say a boy at school has been constantly picking on a younger child. And one day, the teacher hears the older child being unkind and saying some not very nice words. So the teacher tells this boy, well, you have sinned and you need to apologize. So the older child apologizes. Now, how can he truly show that he is sorry for his sins? He can show that by not picking on the boy anymore, being kind to the boy, maybe even being a little extra helpful sometimes since he did hurt his feelings. But now, if the boy, and that would show that he's changing. He acknowledged that he was sinful and he's changing his life. He's doing good things now. He's being extra helpful because he knows that he is forgiven for Jesus. His sins are forgiven. But now let's say that this boy, instead, he just keeps, he says sorry, but then keeps picking on the child, on the boy. He just won't stop. Now, was that sorry meaningful? No. He just faked, he didn't fake. He pretended to be sorry. He show, you show that you are truly sorry by the way that you live. I want you to think that in your daily lives. When you're saying sorry, we're being meaningful about it. And we're going to change because we want to keep God's commands the best we can. But we also know that we are sinners and God forgives our sins. Because he sent his son here on earth to die for our sins and take them away. So although we deserve eternal punishment, we will get to be spend our eternal life in heaven with God and Jesus. Now, on that good note of knowing our sins are forgiven, let's fold our hands, bow our heads, and we're going to pray today. All right, Dear Jesus, thank you for coming to this world to take away our sins. Use our lesson today to prepare our hearts for you, teaching us to be truly sorry for our sins and to trust in you for forgiveness. Amen. All right, have a good rest of your day.